Hello, and welcome to this session on the Perspective Custom Reports. In this session, we'll demonstrate and discuss the process of adding a crosstab to a report. We will add this to an existing report container within a report. For more information on adding a report container first, please watch the Custom Reports Adding a Table session. A crosstab is similar to a pivot table in that you have a two-dimensional table that performs calculations on the data selected for your rows and columns. This calculation could be counts, sums, averages, or more. We will begin by demonstrating how to add another element to the report container. To do so, click on the Report Structure tab in the window to the left of the workspace. In the toolbar just below this tab, click on the Append an Element icon. A window will open allowing you to add a new table, crosstab, chart, or Gantt chart. From here we're going to select Crosstab. Just as we added our table, from here we can choose where we're pulling our data from. In the window that opens, we'll see a list of the queries that we'd link to our report. Once we choose a query, the new crosstab window will open. This is where we'll specify the values we want displayed for the rows and columns, as well as the value for the result cells. We'll begin by clicking on the Insert Row Grouping button in the Rows section. From here, we can open up our fields and then our query fields to select a value that we want to appear in the rows of our table. If you wish to have multiple values, we can add one and then go back in and insert another row grouping again to select another value. If you click both values the first time, they'll include both in the same cell. We can repeat the same process for the columns. You will see in the window just above a sample of what the crosstab will look like with the row and column values you just selected. If there is a need to, there is also a swap button in the bottom right corner of the window that when clicked would swap your row and your column values. If there is a need to modify any of your selections for your rows or columns, you can also select them from the list and either remove them or move them up or down the list. In the value of the result cells, you're going to see the option that you have for calculations. By default, this will be a count, but if we click on the button just to the right, we'll see the other options that we have for performing calculations. When you click on the next button, you're now able to modify the individual cell properties. You'll notice the heading appears in the columns and rows. This is just a title. If you wish to rename these, you can by clicking on the cell within the window, and then the field below under the displayed contents, where you can see where it currently says heading. We can change this text once again, ensuring that the new text we add is enclosed within quotation marks. If we notice below, we could also change the font, size, make it bold, etc. within the font field. and we will see the preview of what it looks like in the window up above. If you want to modify the value of the fonts of multiple cells, you can press and hold the control button on your keyboard and then select the cells that you wish to change. If it's the font, again, we can come in and we can make a modification and we can see those changes within our crosstab. We also do have the option when it comes to this font for our cells. If we need to, we can adjust the rotation of it. If you wish to change the format of the numerical value that's displayed within the calculation cells, we can do so by clicking on the individual cell or multiple cells and then clicking on the format field below. Here, depending on the type of calculation that's taking place, we can modify the number for its appearance, currency, dates, times, percentages, and so on. Click next one more time, and now we can modify the overall crosstab properties. This includes the parents, such as background colors, as well as wrapping options. Wrapping options are important if the crosstab will be too big to fit on a single page. In the break level field, you can set at what level the columns will split on. The page break on shadow pages is also important for this break. 
yes means that any data that does not fit on a single page will then appear on its own page. If you change this to a no, any data that doesn't fit on the page would appear still on the same page, but just below the first cross tab. If there is also a need to, we can set the labels to repeat if needed. Once we finish making modifications, we can click done to add our cross tab. If we click on the preview button, we will then see a preview of our report. After seeing a sample of what our cross tab will look like, if we need to make modifications to it, we can double click on the cross tab within the report structure to reopen those cross tab properties and change the access definitions, the cell definitions, or the overall properties. As well, if we need to modify the additional properties in terms of the appearance, in the left window on the left hand side of our screen, we can also adjust for page break if we need to, or the distance before, in which case if we specify a value here, the distance between our table and our cross tab. This concludes our session on adding a cross tab to a custom report. Our next session will take a closer look at the report building process and see how to add a bar graph into our report.